Hello everybody, how are you? Today is Tuesday, May 5th, and today we're going to work in our student book. That's what you're going to need, your pencil and eraser. Are you ready? Open your book to page 162, and we're going to do a listening activity. Listen and read along. Remember we talked about this story, The Tempest, before reading this, okay? So, get ready. Here we go. Page 162. Read The Tempest. Drama is another form of self-expression, but it can only happen with the aid of different people. First, a playwright writes a play. A play expresses the playwright's feelings about a topic or about life in general. Next, actors perform the play. They bring the playwright's words to life. Actors perform on a stage and set designers decide how the stage will look. Finally, an audience watches the play. The audience reacts to the words the playwright has written, but also to the way the actors are performing the play. One man, who was both a poet and playwright, became the most famous writer in the English language, William Shakespeare. His plays have been performed all over the world and in many languages. One of Shakespeare's plays is called The Tempest. A tempest is a violent storm. At the beginning of the play, a ship is sailing from Tunis in North Africa to Italy. The ship is carrying some extremely important people. When a massive storm starts at sea, Everybody on board is petrified that the waves and wind will break up the ship and throw the passengers and crew into the water. The captain and all the sailors are doing their very best to save the ship and its passengers from the storm. Act 1, Scene 1 Loud noises of thunder and lightning can be heard because of the terrible storm. A ship's captain and a sailor walk on to the stage. Sailor! I'm here, Captain. How can I help you? Oh, good. Please go and talk to the other sailors. We're in trouble. Talk to the sailors. Get them ready. Hurry before the ship runs into the rocks. Hurry. Go. The captain leaves the stage fast. More sailors enter the stage. Come on, sailors. Good job. Quickly, quickly. You need to take in the big sail and listen carefully to the captain's orders. Blow until you burst, wind, but leave enough room for us. Alonzo, Sebastian, Antonio, Ferdinand, Gonzalo, and some others enter the stage. Watch out, good sailor. Where's the captain? Make sure the other sailors do their work. Please go back under the deck, sir. Sailor, where's the captain? The captain is busy giving people orders. Can't you hear him? You're preventing us from doing our work. Go back to your cabins. You're helping the storm, not us. Calm down, good sailor. It's difficult to calm down in a storm. I'll calm down when the sea calms down. Now go. These big waves don't care about kings and their advisors. Go to your cabin and keep quiet. Don't add to our problems. I'll do what you say. But just remember you have important people on board. The most important person on board is me. If you're so important, then order the storm to stop. If you can calm this weather and make the sea peaceful, we can put down our ropes and rest. If you cannot, then be grateful for your long life. Go to your cabin and get ready for the worst. Come on, men. Now get out of our way. 
the sailor leaves the stage. That sailor makes me feel better. He'll never die on a ship at sea. We're lucky to be here with a terrible villain like him. If he survives this storm, we all will. Gonzalo and the other king's advisors leave the stage. Wasn't that interesting? Imagine how exciting to be on a, a boat like this. How nervous everybody would be, right? It is. Why does the sailor say that most important person on board is himself? The crew has to save the ship, and if they don't, everyone will die, right? Why does Gonzalo call the sailor a villain when he talks about him? Because the sailor yelled at, him, at them all. Why does Gonzalo say that the sailor makes him feel better and that he'll never die on a ship? Because the sailor is working very hard to save the ship, right? So everybody trusts him. Everybody trusts him. How do you think the captain felt? I guess he was nervous, right? But what, what does he have to do? He has to act. He has to act as if though he were competent and goes around giving orders. He has to make everybody trust him, right? Okay, let's answer a couple of questions about this. Let's go to the next page. 164. Okay, remember we have what we know, what we want to know, and what we learned. If you could play a part in The Tempest, which character would you like to be? Think, who would you like to be? The captain, the, one of the crew, a sailor, which, which one would you prefer to be? Okay, so what did you know before you read The Tempest? What did you want to know? What have you learned about how we express ourselves? You're going to fill in this chart, okay? What have you learned about how we express ourselves? Sometimes you're going to feel nervous, but you have to act. You have to pretend that you are confident so you could have the other people feel, confi feel confident and trust in you, right? Because if you are scared and you start crying, everybody else is going to start panicking. Everybody's going to start crying and it's going to be a chaos, right? So if you want to be a good leader, you have to pretend that you are uh, a strong person. Okay? So please fill in those three columns. All right. Very good. Now, you're going to write these answers in your orange notebook. All right? write with complete answers. For example, why is the captain worried? He is worried because... What does the captain think might happen to his ship? He thinks... Continue writing. Who is told to take in the big sail? Where does the sailor tell Alonso and Gonzalo to go? 
Why does he tell him to go there? Why is the sailor angry with Gonzalo? Why does the sailor make Gonzalo feel better? Remember, if you have problems remembering, go back to the play. All right? Okay, let's continue. Words in context. Look again at the words you circled in the play. Remember? Okay, and you're going to match each definition to its word. Another word for old is... D, very good. Number two, very large. It would be massive. Three, stopping something or someone. Preventing. Another word for health. Aid. The people who work on a ship, it's the crew. <gasps> Extremely scared. It's petrified. I know you knew the words, all right? Okay, very good. Well, that would be all for this class. I hope you enjoyed the play. For homework, you're going to work in your workbook page 152 and 153. All right. All right. Very good. See you then next Thursday. Please put up your evidence in the portal, all right? This work you did in your orange notebook. I'll be expecting it. Have a nice time. Okay. Bye-bye.